Britain's foreign aid spending could be set to be drastically reduced according to reports. The Chancellor Rishi Sunak may reallocate funds from the aid budget to other departments, including defence, and to help Britain's finances after the coronavirus pandemic. However, Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab appeared to deny that the government will be ditching the 0.7% GDP target introduced under David Cameron. Campaigners have long argued that foreign aid should be cut and that taxpayers' money would be better spent domestically. Well, we've heard today that um, spending on overseas aid could be reclassified so that we see more spending on uh, defence equipment and support on defence priorities overseas. So that's an interesting move because it will mean that the uh, definitions for overseas development assistance will have to change. And that's a political challenge if uh, Rishi Sunak wants to press ahead of it, as he's the one who looks like he's come up with suggestions. And uh, we at the Taxpayers Alliance think that's a good idea. I think that we should be basing aid spending much more on the UK's own priorities. Uh, we spend too much money through multilateral organisations like the World Bank, um, and a lot of that money gets wasted. So we should be basing our overseas aid spending on our own priorities. And some of those are strategic defence questions too. However, supporters of foreign aid claim that the money is useful in promoting British interests abroad. Overseas aid can, um, when spent well, um, uh, assist with an overall British strategy um, that incorporates some soft power. There's, there's no doubt about that. But I think uh, the key phrase is there is when it's spent well, we've seen far too much money wasted. When you ring fence a budget in legislation, what you do is you, you create an incentive for the department to spend as much money as possible um, up to the limit without really um, having too much um, scrutiny on where it goes or how effective it is. And again, when money is being spent through multilateral organizations, we lose even more control of it.